Hi friends, my name is Nandita. I am from Andhra Pradesh. Now let us discuss about uh, frogs. Frogs can live both on land and in fresh water and belongs to class Amphibia phylum Cardata. The most common species of frog found in India is uh, Rana Tirjina. They do not have consist constant body temperature that is their body temperature varies with the temperature of the environment. Such animals are called cold blooded or polykilotherms. You might have also noticed changes in the color of the frog while they are in grasses and are on dry land. They have the ability to change the color to hide them from their enemies. This protective color coloration is called mini cream. You may also note that frogs are not seen during peak summer and winter. During this period, they take shelter in deep burrows to protect them from extreme heat and cold. This is known as a summer sleep, estuation and winter sleep hibernation respectively. Now let us study the morphology of frog. Children, you have ever touched the skin of frog? Yes, the skin is smooth and slippery due to the presence of mucus. The skin is always maintained in a moist condition. The color of dorsal side of the body is generally olive green with dark irregular spots. On the ventral side of the skin is uniformly pale yellow. The frog never drinks water but absorbs it through the skin. The body of a frog is divisible into head and trunk. A neck and tail are absent. Above the mouth, a pair of nostrils is present. Eyes are bulged and covered by a nictitating membrane that protects them while in water. On either side of eyes, a membrane called a tympanum means ear receives sound signals. The forelimbs and hind limbs helps in swimming, walking, leaping and burrowing. The hind limbs ends in five digits and they are large and muscular than forelimbs that ends in four digits. Feet have webbed digits that help in swimming. Frogs exhibit sexual dimorphism. Male frog can be distinguished by the presence of sound producing vocal sac and also copulatory pad on the first digit on the forelimbs which are absent in female frog. Now let us discuss the anatomy of frog. The body cavity of frog accommodate different organ systems such as digestive, circulatory, respiratory, nerve, excretory and reproductive system with well developed structures and function. The digestive system consists of elementary canal and digestive glands. The elementary canal is short because frogs are carnivores and hence the length of intestine is reduced. The mouth opens in buccal cavity that leads to esophagus through pharynx. Esophagus is a short tube that opens into the stomach which is in turn continuous as the intestine, rectum and finally opens outside by the cloaca. Liver secretes bile that is stored the bile gladder. Pancreasis, a digestive gland, produces pancreatic juice containing digestive enzymes. Food is captured by the bilobed tongue. Digestion of food takes place by the action of HCL and gastric juices secreted from the walls of the stomach. Partially digested food called chyme is passed from the stomach to the first part of the small intestine, then the duodenum. The duodenum receives the bile from gallbladder and pancreatic juices from the pancreasis through a common bile duct. Bile em amplifies fat and pancreatic juices digest carbohydrates and proteins. Finally, digestion takes place in the intestine. Digested food is absorbed by the numerous finger-like floats in the inner wall of intestine called villi and microvilli. The undigested solid waste removes in the rectum and passes out cloaca.
frog respires on land and in the water by two different methods it in water skin acts as aquatic respiratory organs and dissolved oxygen in the water is exchanged through the skin by diffusion on land the buccal cavity skin and lungs act as the respiratory organs the respiration by frog is called pulmonary respiration lungs are a pair of elongated pink color sac like structures present in the upper part of the trunk region means thorax air enters through the nostrils into the buccal cavity and then open to lungs during estivation and hibernation gases exchange takes place through the skin the vascular system of fo- frog is well developed close to type frog have a lymphatic system also the blood vascular system involves heart blood vessels and blood the lymphatic system consists of lymph lymph channels and lymph nodes heart is a muscular structure situated in the upper part of the body cavity it has three chambers two atria and one ventricle and it is covered by a membrane called pericardium a triangular structure called the sinus venous joins the right atrium it receives blood through the major veins called the vena cava the ventricle opens into a sac like cones arteriuses on the ventral side of heart the blood from the heart is carried to all parts of the body by the arteries the vein collects the blood from different parts of the body to the heart and from the venous system a special venous system connection between liver and intestine as well as the kidney and the lower parts of the body are present frog the former is called hepatic portal system and the later is called renal portal system the blood is composed of plasma and cells the blood cells are rbc erythrocytes wbc white blood cells leukocytes and platelets RBC is nucleated and contained red color pigment namely hemoglobin the lymph is different from the blood it lacks few proteins and RBC the blood carries nutrients gases and waters to respective sites during the circulation the circulation of blood is achieved by the pumping action of the muscular heart the elimination of nitrogenous waste is carried out by a well developed excretory system the excretory system consists of a pair of kidneys ureters cloaca and urinary ba- bladder these are compact dark red and bean like structures situated a little posteriorly in the body cavity on both sides of vertebral column each kidney is composed of several structures and functional units called uniferous tubules or nephrons two ureters emerge from the kidney in the male frog the ureters act as uh, urinogenital ducts which opens into the cloaca in females the ureters and ovary ducts open separately in the cloaca thin walled urinary bladder is present ventral to the rectum which also opens to the cloaca the frog excretes urea and thus it is urotelic animal excretory wastes are carried by the blood into kidneys where it is separated and excreted The system for control and coordination is highly evolved in the frog. It includes both the neural system and endocrine glands. The chemical coordination of various organs of the body is achieved by hormones which are secreted by the endocrine glands. The prominent endocrine glands found in frog are pituitary, thyroid, parathyroid, thymus, penile body, pancreatic islets, adrenals and gonads. The nerve system is originated into central nerve system consists of brain spinal and cord a peripheral nerve system and then autonomic nerve system uh, means sympathetic and parasympathetic nerve system is present there are 10 pairs of cranial nerves arising from the brain a brain is enclosed in a bony structure called brain box the brain is divided into forebrain midbrain and hindbrain the forebrain includes olfactory lobes paired cerebral hemispheres and unpaired densiphalon uh, the midbrain is characterized by a paired of optical lobes hindbrain consists of cerebellum and medulla oblongata the medulla oblongata passes throughout the foramen 
magnum and contains into spinal cord which is enclosed into a vertebral column frog has three different types of sense organs namely organs of touch sensory papillae taste smell vision hearing etc out of these eyes and internal ears are well organized structures and the rest are cellular aggregations around the nerve ending i is a frog are a pair of spherical structures situated in the orbit in skull there are simple eyes possessing only one unit example external ear is absent in frog and only tympanum can be seen externally the ear is an organ of hearing as well as balancing equilibrium frogs have well organized male and female reproductive systems male reproductive organs consists of a pair of yellowish avoid testes which are found adhered to the upper part of kidneys by a double fold of peritoneum called meso rochium vasa afferentia or 10 to 12 in number that are arises from testes they enter the kidneys on the side of and opens into bidder canal finally it communicates with the urinogenital ducts that comes out from the kidneys and opens into cloaca the cloaca is small median chamber that is used to pass facial matter urine and sperm to the exterior the female reproductive organs included a pair of ovaries the ovaries are situated near kidneys and there is no functional connection with kidneys a pair of ovary ovary duct arising from the ovaries opens into the cloaca separately a mature female can be lay 2500 to 3000 ova at a time fertilization is external and takes place in water development involves a larva stage called tadpole tadpole undergoes metamorphosis to form the adult frog are beneficially for mankind because they eat insects and protect the crop frogs maintain ecological balance because these serve as an important link of food chain and food web in the ecosystem in some countries the muscular legs of frogs are used as food by man thank you